Someone's coming through. Don't move. Huh. Clark. Okay, welcome to 708. I wrote it. Uh, it was directed by Ed Freeman, who's our producing director and an amazing human being. From the ashes through the bridge, the shepherd will rise. Bill Cadigan is the shepherd. So if anybody remembers season four, um, Cadigan was the leader of the Second Dawn cult. We weren't a cult. We were a collective of great minds dedicated to the continuation of our species. One of the things that I really always wanted to dive into is why the bunker in season four, the Second Dawn bunker, when they finally find it, is empty. There's no bodies. It's sealed from above. So with the Becca's pod got put on uh, in the temple that later became the temple. And so that was a huge mystery that needed solving. And in this episode, we reveal how that happened. How the hell are you here? That's a very long story. This is a very interesting and different episode for us. This is the prequel. It is called Anaconda. Bill, if this isn't real. It is. Anaconda, we quickly realized, by the way, is code for the missiles are in the air. You have 20 minutes. Mom. I've already sent the chopper. It'll be there in five. <gasps> I pray that you're both on it. This story starts on the day that the world ends. It starts on May 10th, which is my birthday, uh, 2052. And it really tells the story of how the human race survived those initial years post-apocalypse. But fear not, we're about to knock the apocalypse off the front page. It is going to answer a ton of questions that were left open in our series. There are seven symbols on that wall. And we know that it takes seven points to chart a course through space. This was a very, very, I think, important part of our season story. It, it explains a lot about the bridge and where we're going. Do you want to live or not?